Hey, what's up? This is your tech tuber Rahul. Three, four days back, I got this mail from Pixel Film Studios and the mail was about that the M1 compatible version of their plugin named Auto Tracker is out. It's something which I had been waiting since uh, three, four months, not three, four, I would say two, three months. Uh, when I purchased this plugin from their website and once after purchasing it, I realized that this product is not compatible with the M1 chipset of my Mac mini. And since then I had been waiting because I had already invested in purchasing this product and I didn't have the access to it neither I could get the refund. So I was waiting for it and the same time the equivalent of this tracker on motion VFX but motion VFX is somewhat like the marketing and uh, even the experience is a little more premium I would say that that's how it seems. Correct me if I'm wrong but that's what I have seen or observed. Also if we compare price of the plugin by Motion VFX and this particular Auto Tracker plugin by Pixel Film Studios, the price of Auto Tracker is quite less as compared to that of Motion VFX M Tracker. So I was only looking for a particular plugin to serve the basic needs. I didn't want a high level plugin which has extra added features to it specifically in the application of 3d so i was not looking for that so i simply went with this particular plugin let's get a little deeper about this particular plugin see uh, talking about this the price of this plugin you can see on your screen i would suggest you to wait for the period when you have some discount running or going on on pixel film studios website because what I have seen is that they always have some or the another discount option or uh, discount season, season going on on their website. You just make sure that you at least avail 20 to 30 percent discount while purchasing this plugin. And obviously now it is M1 compatible. Those who had, have already purchased it and uh, are waiting for this particular version of uh, I would say Mac mini M1 chipset version it's the time uh, because the old, older version will not be functional on M1 chipset the another good thing about this pixel film studios I would say is key uh, is that you can purchase your plugin using the cryptocurrency which I highly appreciate uh, this move so you can do so as well on pixel film studios website while purchasing any plugin also, when I purchased this plugin and the problems I was facing at that time, I took up the matter to their uh, the core technical team not, uh, regarding the plugin functionality, the issues I was facing. It was not working on my Mac and somehow their team just overlooked the part where I had mentioned that it is M1 chipset Mac and they kept trying their best in order to resolve uh, this problem and later uh, all of a sudden I asked them to look again on the specs of my Mac and then they saw the M1 part and they straightway told me obviously it will not work your uh, Mac is M1 chipset based so you need to wait for that this version will not work so after uh, an investigation of about 30-40 minutes we came to know a little thing which we overlooked at that time i got to know uh, a little more detail about the plugin uh, by itself so i made a, a video about that as well so as to educate you people who are trying hard to make this plugin or some other plugin from pixel film studios not yet designed or updated for m1 chipset functionality so as to educate you people that you do not keep trying hard to make it work because it will not work that's what i shared in that video anyways talking about this particular plugin if you have that installer application installed on your mac uh, using which you install your plugins uh, that pixel film studios application and you have already installed the earlier version of auto tracker this auto tracker is uh, version 2.2 version 2.2 used to be the just immediate previous version of this auto tracker this version was not working on my m1 mac so 
if you have installed that so only update you will see will be an addition installation part and that will be this the same plugin of about small size file of about some nine and a half mb and that will read as m1 version of this your auto tracker i think both of the files need need to be installed on your mac so as to make this uh, plugin complete and work on your mac so you need to make sure that part as well uh, you need not delete the older version and if you have deleted or have not yet installed even the older version you go from the scratch and you start installing then again you will get to see two files one will be this as you can see m1 version and another will be the version 2.2 so you need to install both of them however i am still not sure why why this is not still working when i am coming to this titles area and here I have my Pixel Film Studios. Now here I don't see the M1 version. If I still glide over, let, let's come to some part, I guess. Now if I'm gliding over here, still I, I can see that this plugin is not working. And the other proof for that is if I look closer, this is version 2.2 file. So obviously it will not work. It's not meant to work. But over here, if I come to this effects area, and here if I see again there are two uh, folders I'll say in this effects area the first one corresponds to version 2.2 again if I scrub through this one it's not working neither of them is working and if I go to the next part which reads M1 version it does it works so as you can see if I'm gliding through it's showing me that it will work so only this part is working as of now one important point i need to put up over here is that my previous version that i had installed was 10.5.2 and in that version i tried installing and using this particular plugin and it didn't work so i upgraded it to this version 10.5.4 and it works in this version so make sure your final cut pro is up to the latest version I'm sure that it's not working on 10.5.2. I'm not sure about 10.5.3, but again, I'm sure that it's working on 10.5.4 version. So you need to make sure about that. Again, uh, if you people want little basics about this plugin, I would suggest that you simply read the manual that comes along with this one. Or if you are thinking of looking at a little presentation if in case you have never installed this plugin so if you want a little tutorial on that let me know in the comments section down below i'll make a video about that for sure that's it for this video if you have any questions let me know this is your tech tuber rahul and i'll see you in my next video goodbye take care